My film opening uses most basic conventions of a teenage coming-of-age drama, including the first thing you hear. You hear Rowan Matthews give a small monologue to the audience about a story her mother told her when she was young. This story makes the main character seem not as tied to society standards and makes her seem more important than the other teenage girls. In teenage dramas, the main character usually has a trait or characteristic that sets them apart from others around her or in the world that the teenager is in. A convention that I wanted to challenge was that in all movies with a single parent, it's usually the good-for-nothing father who abandons the child. But in my film, I decided to challenge that mentality and make the mother leave her daughter alone with the father. The stereotypical irresponsible teen trope is challenged in my opening by making the daughter seem almost responsible for taking care of the father. During the conversation about the student, Rowan asks her father if he ate breakfast to try to take care of him, see if he's keeping himself healthy, and check up on him. This shows that she's almost responsible for him. Two huge issues I tried to make my film opening represent were finding your sexuality and being comfortable with it, and being romantically involved with the opposite sex and the troubles that come with it. These two huge issues fall under the LGBTQ plus social group. In many recent films, including Love, Simon, and Call Me By Your Name, gay characters are becoming more and more normal. Many recent gay films have been blowing up the gay teenager's sexual preferences, and I wanted to challenge that. I wanted to make it seem more normal and not as alienated as most films usually portray it. In my film, I wanted to show my audience that being gay is fine and it's okay and that other people understand the trouble that comes with it and all the problems and hardships that you have to face being in the LGBTQ plus group. My product engages with its audience because it's targeted for teens going through high school trying to find themselves. My whole film is about a teenager trying to find herself and being comfortable in her own skin. My film engages with the audience by including minority into the opening and bringing problems that are usually hidden into light. By showing how people deal with it and how a teenager goes through her life dealing with the struggles of being gay, I open many of the audience's eyes to problems that are usually hidden. The distribution of my film would start at the Sundance Film Festival. I would show it just to gather an audience and maybe some attention from film distributors. If the film distributors deem my film marketable, they will market it and make it into hopefully a very big and profitable movie. My production skills throughout this project were completely challenged. From being completely trash at filming and editing, I tried my best to look up tutorials and gather as much information about editing as I could from my best friend Daniel. After taking some time to practice editing, I felt actually decent and had a nice basic understanding of why certain shots look better than others and why having a schedule and following it is so important. But in the end, I think what I got most help from is my best friend Daniel and a lot of YouTube video tutorials. I integrated technology into my film by incorporating a lot of YouTube into helping me figure out how to edit correctly and make the audio that I recorded sound the way I wanted it to. Originally, to edit my film, I wanted to use Adobe Premiere Pro. Once I downloaded it and tried the trial, I found out it was not user-friendly at all, and it made it impossible to do the simplest of tasks, like input a title or change the transition between shots. I know it's mostly because I'm a novice at editing, but I felt that Adobe Premiere Pro was a bit extreme in how hard they made it to edit my film. All the sound effects in my film opening were royalty free and copyright free from sound effect websites. With the help of my teacher and a lot of research, I found these websites and used them for finding my sound effects. Thank you all for listening to my creative critical reflection. I hope you enjoy my film.